Hi, um, my name's Kath Pennington. I'm an engineering geologist at BGS. Um, and with me in the car is uh, Vanessa Banks, um, who's the team leader for Shallow Geohazards and Risk. And in the back here, we've got Carolina Arangio, who's our uh, student from Bologna. Uh, with us at the moment. Um, we are on a training exercise in the Highlands of Scotland and we are um, trying to understand um, processes to do with rock slope failures and debris flows. Um, we've looked at some really nice stuff yesterday and today we are going to the Rest and Be Thankful Pass where there's been some debris flows that occurred last week during Storm Callum. Um, the Rest and Be Thankful is somewhere that we've been documenting the debris flows on that slope for quite a few years now in our national landslide database and if you want to find out about that you can find out about that on the web um, and so we've but I've never been there and I'm very excited to be going there today so we'll see what we see when we get there Behind me you can see the debris flows that happened last week for the Rest and Be Thankful pass. Um, what happens when a debris flow occurs is that the material, which is a, a real mix of material, gets really saturated with water and the water can't go anywhere so, so the pressure builds up and then eventually it just it flows down the slope quite quickly. And here there's quite a high impact because the section of road, the detour, is 55 miles so it has, it has quite a high economic impact. So this has all the conditioning factors that we would think for debris flow. So we've got steep slopes, we've got material that's susceptible to uh, debris flows. We've also got uh, drainage channels, which you can see on the slope. So this all adds together to get quite a susceptible slope. The, the main rock type are schist and, and semites. These are metamorphosed uh, sandstones from the Precambrian period. And they're, they're quite uh, flat lying, they're quite slippery with lots of quartz veins. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's been on the cobbler has walked on, uh, on this stuff. So that's the background uh, geology. And all over the slope there's quite a granular material, isn't there? That's yeah, that's, that mm -hmm. is probably the, the culprit for the, uh, uh, for the landsliding. Uh, it's, it's loose material that's gathered there since the Ice Age and is now slowly and sometimes fast uh, working its way down. Yeah. Throughout the week's training in Scotland, we went to a range of sites with different types of landslides. We talked about how we would include debris flows on our geology maps and how we would use this information to assess the likelihood of these landslides happening in the future. You know, most debris flow activity will happen within a few hundred years of, uh, of deglaciation, whereas we're now 12,000 years after deglaciation and we've still got an awful lot of stuff coming down the hillside. So we've just finished um, our wrap-up discussion from the week between the engineering geologists from the landslides team and the uh, quaternary geologists and geomorphologists from BGS in Edinburgh. Uh, it's been really useful to spend a week um, of training together to better understand what types of landslides and debris flows we have in Scotland and to understand what data we need to be capturing in order to improve our applied science models and outputs for stakeholders.